guys so i'm back for a seven day post-op sarp surgery um review and i kind of wanted just to to go over and tell you guys where i'm at how my healing's been doing i'm gonna start off showing you the gap because if i just keep going on i know you guys are gonna be like holy moly what's going on in her mouth so i figured i'd, I'd just do that now to show you okay, this is what i got now uh, and I have cranked it um, only once every, in the morning um, since I've had the surgery. I don't know how many times my oral surgeon did it when I was um, under general anesthetic, but I'm know when I woke up I there was a gap but it's definitely not as big There's as a couple think. things I wanted to just go over um number one um how has my healing been going and um yeah how I've been feeling through all this um sarp surgery is definitely not fun and you know what I think this is kind of prepping me giving me a taste of what it's going to be like when I have to go for for jaw surgery in which they will take a chunk of my jaw and move it back because I have an underbite. Very unfortunate. Um, so I my this one has gone down as you guys can see. If you saw my last video, um, that was pretty much just a day. I think I said two days in that video, but it was only a day after surgery in that one. And um, I think it wasn't until day two or three when I started to bruise a lot and you know what I kind of figured I would bruise because I bruise so easily in general so I, I'm not surprised um shadow Psh. um I swell swell up pretty bad too um just one of the unlucky unlucky people this whole thing is very unlucky but um Gotta get it done. Gotta get it done. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. So the swine's gone. They're still bruising. Let's see, under my neck. Right here. Um, how I'm feeling with this. How am I feeling with all this? I'm still very tight with all, like, right here here it's so tight and it's not even the pain that's been bothering me it's just the, the tightness like it just feels not it just feels not normal um numbing all um, top jaw still I can't feel anything um yeah I can feel still but just like all up here no feeling even as far as like the very back no feeling and I'm hoping that comes back Ugh. numbing is just such a weird it's just not cool it's not cool. no one wants to be numb but um so what I've been doing to help me with um the swelling and I'm still pretty swollen like <laughs> oh my god I just can't stop making fun of myself um you know what my sister, my little sister said I look like? I look like, um, who? From Whoville? Also, um, sometimes I'll, like, lift up my son or I'll do some, I'll carry something heavy and it just feels like my tooth or something moved. It's weird. Definitely one thing that's pro about this is I can breathe. I remember when I woke up from surgery, I could breathe through my nose just so well like so much air was just flowing right through there it was, it was crazy um yeah so what I've been doing to help me um slowly like help the swelling go down was just using an ice pack or like um I just bought this my bag from shoppers when we were in Vancouver and um just put ice in it and I've just been changing each cheek every 15 minutes or so um, the first like four or five days i definitely recommend that you do the whole ice thing 
um yeah because it really does it really does the other thing that's been very stressful with this whole thing has been just talking in general i try and avoid talking um talking is just not fun at all i <laughs> yeah not fun um eating oh eating is rough i can only um pretty much eat anything that just will i, I can't anything that, that doesn't require chewing i can eat um, so I've just been blending everything from stews to making a lot of juices, smoothies, um, trying to take in as much nutrients as I possibly can. I was also taking a lot of protein shakes. Um, I haven't been working out a whole lot. Um, hopefully I'm still kind of feeling a little weird, so I'm thinking I'm going to hold off on that until next week. Um. Or until yeah until next week I think I see more I see my ortho on December 4th which is awesome um, I had a question I don't know if any of you guys have gone through this whole start surgery process um, after your orthodontist I never asked him this I never even really there's a lot of unknowns I don't know why after you get the whole surgery and everything done and you stop cranking it, how long does that appliance have to still stay in there until they're able to take it out? Um, I know they can't take it out right away. Is that correct? Because they have to wait till the bone heals? I don't know. I, if you guys can answer that, that would be very helpful to me. If not, I'm sure I'll find out soon. Um, next week. Next week I see the ortho. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it as, um, the whole update on start surgery. Wait, I'm going to show you another, um, kind of another look at what's going on in my mouth right now. So, more of an up close view. This is... And this is, this is as far as I can bite down right now. Um, as you can tell, I do have an underbite. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm hoping to do another video, um, and just kind of update you as to what's the next step and the next process of all this, um, after I see my ortho on December 4th. So hopefully, um, yeah, I can do another video on that. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to post in the comment box below. And I'll be happy to respond. And thanks so much for watching, guys. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.